welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. And as I said so in the last video, I did some off-screen training as I will show. Look at these levels, viewers. Vaporeon is now level 40. Now knows Bite and Aurora Beam. Those are the stats. Pretty decent. Venusaur is now level 43. Decent stats. Nothing new on moves. Doug, which we didn't really do any level grinding because he's not going to be the main one, but he's still there for the simple reason that he still knows Cat. Vero is level 44, so that makes him the highest level one we've got at the moment. Look at that attack and speed, that's pretty damn good. Of course, we already know he knows Drill Pack and all that. So, without further ado, let's proceed to Route 12. Route 12, North Lavender. Hey, what's up there? Who are you? My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. TM27 is a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. The only time I've ever actually used that TM was on my Espion in Pokemon Coliseum, and it was pretty damn good attack. Half the time, anyway, because Espion was such a loyal Pokemon. Yeah, I've got a bite here. Also, before this battle, I'd like to point out something. Okay, off screen I caught basically the majority, if not all, Pokemon that are catchable at this point. The majority of them, I mean, because I didn't catch every one of them. Anyway, let's get it. Oh, bitch. Damn it. Should really tone down on the language, seriously. Has this guy got anything new? I'm just showing it because I was talking while going into the battle, so I might as well. Yeah! Uh, we don't need to swap out, it's just a polywag. Why it is? What you got? Oh man, these trainers are boring! Come on! I want to see a Sea King, maybe a Cloister. That'd be awesome. Just a small fry. I was expecting at least one of you guys to have a Magikarp. I actually caught a Magikarp. It was easy to catch. I didn't even need to attack it. Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. But you know, he really was a fool. He failed miserably. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but I'd be bet it'd be best if I also had more work. What? Too easy. Where have we got here? Hey Jazz, if we win, I'll marry you. What? Seriously, who marries someone just because they won a Pokemon battle? Look at them, they're clearly kids. Foolish. Prepare for the ultimate combination of water and grass. I'll use Aurora Beam on you, and then I'll use Razor Leaf. Even though it won't be super effective, who cares? Prepare yourself for your demise. Repair! Boom! Ha ha ha, pitiful. Use quick attack. Use vine whip. If needed. Which it wasn't. Ha 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 ha. Oh, but why? 
Wait a second. Okay, she's got blonde hair, he's got brown hair. So why in the right in the battle were they ginger? What the hell? Sword fishing area. Hello? Want to use the poker flute? Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Oh boy. Now, if I remember correctly, viewers, it's like one or two opportunities in total that you get to actually catch a Snorlax in the entire game. So don't screw up on the chance of getting this guy. He's pretty damn strong, as you can clearly see. I mean, these, these attacks aren't doing nothing to this guy. And look, he will use this move quite a bit, so yeah, be prepared for quite a annoying battle. That's the only time you'll be woken up by that, luckily. Prepare yourself, Snorlax. Prepare yourself. Whoa! Holy sh... No, I can't say that. Nice one, Vaporeon. That was pretty awesome, but I don't think we're gonna catch him just that easily, like. One. Two. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! So we can actually have more than 99 Pokeballs? I didn't know that. Where the hell is this bag this big, anyway? Two, three... Yay! That wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Snorlax was caught. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Laziest Pokemon ever. Well, it's pretty damn tough. This would be leading to that to Vermilion City, for it that way. Just thought I'd point that out. But who cares? Also, you're probably wondering, how did I catch a Magikarp anyway? Well, I got the old rod of Vermilion City. It's in one of the houses. I'm saying that because we're getting the next one here. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like fish? Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. The super rod. Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers. Go out and land the big one, my friend. Now I have a request. You catch a big magic car with that rod. I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I also love seeing gigantic magic car. Okay, we got the super rod before the good rod. Also, we could have got our HM fly, but I completely forgot that I was supposed to be getting that. Like, I'll go back for that off screen probably. Electricity is my specialty. I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the Sea now. Allow me to show you one of them. Rocker. L what? What's he going around with that for? Water Pulse! Destroy! Electrode, okay, that's a new one. Um, just to be on the safe side, it's sent out Doug. Take him on, Doug! You can do it! Oh! You have no chance against me. No chance. Boom! And Electrode was one shotted by a Doug King. How lovely. Unplugged. He was unplugged the whole time, you dumbass. See ya. Okay, if I recall, that's a moonstone over there. I don't know if I'm completely accurately getting that right there. 
I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? Maybe that isn't a moonstone. No, I think it was just this guy mentions a moonstone. Rhino, huh? I don't think we've seen this one yet. But nonetheless, it shall have no chance whatsoever. As you could clearly see. He was destroyed, annihilated. What is it? I might my dad. Oh Iron That's still pretty good, I guess. It gives you a bit more power to my overpoweredness. What's catching? You never know what you could catch. You could catch a Magikarp with a Super Rod. Well, no, that's technically impossible. Oh, this guy is actually one of the Magikarp trainers. Dude! Level 24 Magikarp, dude! Do you not realize you can evolve that to a Gyarados by now? What the hell are you thinking, man? Are you stupid or what? You've got a Magikarp, evolve it, it's its only use. I don't even need to try with these guys, seriously. I mean, doesn't it evolve at level 20? Why is it level 24 Magikarp? Lost it. Maybe if you evolved them to Gyarados, maybe then you might have actually stood somewhat of a chance. Granted, I would just send Venusaur on them, but still. This tree looks like... Da -da -da. Why am I reading that for? I already know. What's down here? Nothing? I'm sure there's something hidden here. Yeah, pretty sure there probably is, but we haven't got the item to search for it. I don't know, though. Just guessing. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was splunking. What? Fail. My bird Pokemon want to battle with you. But well, bring it on, matey boy. And we have our first bird... I mean, bird keeper. Sebastian. And he has a Pidgey at level 29 when he could clearly have evolved it. Ah, uh, this will just be complete overkill now, won't it? Ha 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 It's awesome when you've got a Pokemon that's only one type, like water or something, and it can learn ice moves and stuff like that, because then you don't need it to be like a cross between water and ice, giving it more disadvantages than it should. Occasionally, they have combinations that just don't work, but... Actually, water and ice, is that really a, such a bad combination? I don't know. Haze. No. My Pidgey and Pidgeotto combo lost? Should I add Pidgeot? But then again, I'd still knock it out anyway. Try Fero next time. Hey, I'm told I'm good for a kid. She had five Pokemon and not a single one of them had a chance. Who are you? Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. Is it just me or these trainers getting weaker and weaker? Do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? Too easy. Like... Seriously. Wow, your badges are too cool. Did it ever cross her mind to evolve her polywax to polywills and use a water stone? No, apparently not. Foolish. I'm not going to lose, not when the wind's blowing my way. But let's smell. Oh no, not that wind! You know what this kid needs is. 
the How to Evolve Your Pokemon for a Dummies book. Seriously. What are you looking at? Fail! Screw facing all these trainers. I'm getting out of here. I've got places to go, people to see. I'll just come back for these guys when I feel like it. Seriously, these battles, while good for a little level grind, I think here and there, a bit tedious while on screen. Hey kid, come on, I just got the. He's off some loser. So you're kind of like Team Rocket, you stole them. A wheezing? Dude, this guy stole a wheezing. Not cool, man. You are an asshole, but a weak one. Eh, we might as well show them on screen since we just, like, came into the battle and then we saw a wheezing and now we're seeing the rest of the coughings. Seriously, it just seems like the type of Pokemon this guy would use. I think he lied about stealing them. The Grimer, of course. Could have had a muck as well, but whatever. Oh, that was so close to level 44. Why not? Why not what? The Pokemon? No. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Just get out of here now. Keep walking. Avoid trainer's eyes. Go through here. Ignore everyone in sight. Continue walking. Pushya, whatever city. And what have we got here? Pushya city. Behold its passion pink. What? Pokemon Paradise Safari Zone. Of course, a safari. Wait. Slowpoke, friendly and very slow moving. Look at the... What the hell? Look at it from the side. That does not look like a slowpoke from the side, does it? That is weird looking. Seriously. Where is Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Well, viewers, um... I'm not sure what we're meant to do at this point. I kind of forgot. How did we get there? Pokemon Center? Yeah, it's around here. Let me see. Can we enter the gym? Yeah. But I'm going to have to put that off for now. I shall meet you, um, Isla outside the Pokemon Center or the gym in the next video, where we will take on the gym leader and get our next badge. But, in the meantime, I'm going to go back and get the HM Fly, and then I will fly to the well near the area so I can show you where I got it and I shall be back in the next part. See you next time.